Hello, I'm Major Matthew Connellan, formerly Captain Connellan from the Center for Character and Leadership Development. I hail from Denver, Colorado, so it's great to be home after a PCS year last summer. I enlisted in 2005 and commissioned from USAFA in the class of 2011, uh, back when General Clark was the Commandant of Cadets. I'm married to a 2011 graduate, Yvette, and we have four little future USAFA cadets running around the house right now. Um, some of the most memorable moments for me over the last year have been first landing a job here at USAFA after several attempts over the years, also surviving a move with a family of six during COVID, and learning a thousand new things with my position here within CCLD to include contracting and money, uh, managing Air Force civilians and event management within Polaris Hall, all of which I've never done before. Um, also being accepted into the Space Force, and I'm looking forward to swearing in with them in the coming months. Uh, leading a team within CCLD of amazing people has been one of my most memorable accomplishments, and they have won recognition at all levels, and some of them are here today as well for, uh, for this ceremony. Uh, but most of all, I think my most memorable moments have been related to interacting with cadets. I've had an opportunity to lead developmental opportunities with CCLD and their workshops, uh, the guest teaching within DF, and then also taking part in the Space Force Selection Board for the class of 2022. All of those have been amazing moments, and I did want to say that I'm grateful for consideration as CG of the Year, but most importantly, I'm so grateful to be part of Team USAPA. Thank you very much, Semper Supra. I'm Captain Noel Bates in the Athletic Department. I grew up in Houston and went to school at the University of Texas, Hookham. I'm a Loggy by trade and have served over six years in the Air Force. My most memorable accomplishment from 2020 is working with the scheduling and grading team, Mr. Hoffman, Mr. Paul, and Captain Gable, to make over 3,000 moves to PE classes as a result of code restrictions. I'm Captain Rodriguez. I work at the prep school. I've been in for eight years now. I grew up in Saugus, California. Um, I've been married for four years to my beautiful wife, Kelsey, and I have a two-year-old named Reese. My biggest accomplishment in 2020 was uh, providing a safe environment for the cadet candidates during BMT PT every morning. Um, even though we had a co abbreviated college football season, we still competed in two events. I even had a capstone uh, competition at West Point. And finally, delivering uh, physical education to the cadet candidates in a safe uh, manner, despite being in a COVID contested environment. And that's really thanks to a great team I had. Well, hello friends, I'm Chaplain Captain Philip Vincent. I am here at the 10th Air Base Wing in Preparatory School. Been married these last 14 years to my best friend and partner in life and ministry, my wife Michelle, and together we have two incredible kids, my daughter Jubilee and my son Judah, who we are both well pleased with. Uh, we have been in the service of God and country since about 2010 in the reserves and on active duty, serving in places like Missouri, Alaska, California, Portugal, and most recently here at USAFA, and have so thoroughly enjoyed our time at USAFA. It's hard to really narrow down um, the, the, the best experience or accomplishment. Um, so many good things in such a, such a difficult year. Uh, the, the camaraderie of Team 10, the, the opportunity to just make lattes for people in my office to share a little life together. Uh, supporting our preppies, developing leaders, equipping permanent party through suicide intervention training to help them feel confident in their ability to help move a person from a place of danger to themselves to a place of a place of safety for now. And it's possible um, that there's hope. Uh, certainly, all, all good things. But I'll tell you what, when I'm really honest with myself about what, what has mattered the most to me, it's no program, it's no accomplishment, it is simply the privileges your chaplain to have been invited into your lives, to, to, to be able to share with you uh, a way forward in the middle of stress and hardship and tragedy. What an incredible honor it is to, to serve as your chaplain and, and to support you in your way forward. I can't thank you enough. And as I think about you and I pray for your way forward, I pray that God will bless you in your next steps. Hey Team Yusafa, this is Captain Charles Lewis from the Management Department over in DF. I grew up here in Colorado Springs and graduated from the Academy back in 2014 out of Squad 38. This year, my most memorable accomplishment by far has been being able to find those ways to maintain and build those relationships with my students through all of this chaos. So I want to say thank you to everybody here that made that possible. And I want to also give a special shout out to the Management Department and congratulations to all of the nominees. I'm Captain Dennis Lynn, and I'm the Deputy Chief of the Support Branch in the Cadet Wing Training Support Division under the Commandant of Cadets. 
I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada, and I've been in the Air Force for almost eight years now. My AFSC is 13N Nuclear and Missile Operations, and I've been stationed at Vandenberg Air Force Base, California, for training. Minot Air Force Base, North Dakota. F.E. Warren Air Force Base, Wyoming, before coming to USAFA. Um, my most memorable accomplishments of 2020 are planning in-processing day for the class of 2024 and planning the return of the cadet wing from winter break. Um, I day was challenging considering the COVID requirements and the need to avoid in-person contact, um, but my team still made that happen. And it was a logistical nightmare to plan the return of the, um, the cadet wing from winter break. Um, it was extremely difficult trying to put together the pieces from each mission element uh, to get the mass COVID testing done, but with only one month of planning, uh, we made that happen too.